a certain specified value. So before designing a sampling plan, we need to first specify what the worst maximum possible value of the average outgoing quality is acceptable. The AOQL of any rectifying inspection plan or any sampling plan should not go beyond the specified value. This is the average outgoing quality limit. This is the maximum bad quality or this is the maximum average outgoing quality, the worst average outgoing quality which can be resulted from any plan. So this AOQ should not exceed a certain specified value it should it this is the worst it should not go beyond a specified value so this specified value has to be given prior we prior to uh, when we or earlier to starting the sampling inspection plan so this is the so before designing the plan the designing itself includes to specify the value of the specified value of the AOQ now average total inspection ATI another important measure related to the rectifying inspection is the amount of inspection required by the sampling inspection plan amount of inspection here is nothing but number of units inspected while applying a sampling inspection plan if the lot contains no defective then no lot will be rejected and the amount of inspection for this will be the sample size n right so if the lot contains no defective we'll just take out the sample from the lot because it is have because the sample will be having no defective we'll just accept the lot hence the total number of units inspected will be nothing but n that is the sample size if the items are all defective then every lot will be rejected then amount of inspection will be capital n so when all the items in the lot are defective and we'll draw a sample from that lot in that sample also all the items will be defective and hence we are going to reject the lot after rejecting the lot we have to go for 100% inspection of the lot so each and every item of the lot will be inspected and hence the amount of inspection will be n number of units that is the lot size now if the lot quality is 0 is between 0 and 1 so here it was 0 no defective here it was 1 where all were the defective but when the lot quality lies between 0 and 1 the average amount of inspection per lot will vary between the sample size n and the lot size capital N right when the number of defectives in the lot was 0 number of inspected units were small n when the number of when the number of defectives if all the units in the lot were defective then the lot will get rejected and the amount of inspection will be capital N but when the number of defective is neither 0 nor capital N that means the proportion defective lies between 0 and 1 then the average amount of inspection per lot will vary between N and capital N. ATI is the average number of units inspected per lot average total units that is the average number of units inspected per lot while applying the acceptance sampling plan so it is the average number of units which we are going to inspect per lot when we are going to apply this acceptance sampling plan we have found out the ATI for single sampling inspection plan as well as double sampling inspection plan so you can go to that chapter and see how ATI is calculated next is consumers risk now any sampling scheme would involve risk on the part of the consumer in the sense that he has to accept certain percentage of undesirable bad lots a consumer if a consumer is accepting a bad lot then this is an error this is a risk on the part of the consumer to accept a bad lot consumer risk is denoted by beta or pc c is used for consumer so pc or beta so beta is the probability of accepting a lot of bad quality pt again it is just a notation pt is used for 
द क्वालिटी ऑफ अ बैड लॉट ठीक है सो पी टी जस्ट डिनोट्स अ बैड क्वालिटी एंड द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ एक्सेप्टिंग दिस बैड क्वालिटी लॉट इज नथिंग बट कंज्यूमर्स रिस्क और बीटा सो नाउ बिकॉज द डेफिनेशन इज सच वे इज इन सच अ वे दैट वेन वी आर एक्सेप्टिंग अ लॉट ऑफ बैड क्वालिटी दिस इज हार्मफुल फॉर द कंज्यूमर बिकॉज एज अ कंज्यूमर यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू एक्सेप्ट अ लॉट और अ प्रोडक्ट ऑफ बैड क्वालिटी सो वेन यू आर एक्सेप्टिंग अ प्रोडक्ट और अ लॉट ऑफ बैड क्वालिटी इट इज हार्मफुल फॉर द कंज्यूमर एंड इट हेंस इट इज कॉल एज अ कंज्यूमर रिस्क इट इज यूजली टेकन एज टेन परसेंट प्रोड्यूसर्स रिस्क नाउ द प्रोड्यूसर हैज टू फेस द सिचुएशन दैट सम गुड क्वालिटी लॉट्स विल बी रिजेक्टेड नाउ प्रोड्यूसर इज प्रोड्यूसिंग अ प्रोडक्ट इट इज प्रोड्यूसिंग अ लॉट ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स वेन अ लॉट ऑफ गुड क्वालिटी इज गेटिंग रिजेक्टेड इट इज हार्मफुल फॉर द प्रोड्यूसर एंड दिस इज कॉल्ड एज प्रोड्यूसर्स रिस्क प्रोड्यूसर्स रिस्क इज नोटेड बाई पी पी अगेन पी इज फॉर प्रोड्यूसर और अल्फा इफ पी बार is the submitted lot quality and the lot quality is considered as sufficiently good quality so p bar again here is a notation for good quality then pp which is equal to alpha is the probability of rejecting a lot of good quality which is p bar so p bar is used for denoting a good quality of a lot and pp is the probability the producer is is the probability of rejecting a lot of good quality you can relate alpha and beta with type 1 and type 2 error also so type 1 error is nothing but probability of so in terms of testing or in uh, in statistical inference we have seen that type 1 error is probability of rejecting when it's not is true here also probability of rejecting when the lot is good and because we are rejecting a good lot it is harmful for the producer who is producing a good lot it is called as producer's risk and beta type 2 error is the consumers risk that is probability of accepting when it's not is false that is probability of accepting when the lot is bad because it is accepting a bad lot it is harmful for the consumer it is called as consumers risk thank you